Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens and I just arrived to Sukhothai and this is my first time to ever visit Sukhothai. I'm excited to be here. But Sukhothai, it's, it's actually a whole province in Thailand, but it is the ancient Thai capital, Thai uh, kingdom and just arrived. We, it was about a five and a half hour drive from Bangkok. Uh, so I'm a little bit tired after the drive, but feeling good. We're staying at this beautiful hotel called Siwilai. And I'll give you, I'll walk you through, I'll give you a full tour of this hotel in another video because this hotel is fantastic. But for the time being, Micah cannot wait to jump into the swimming pool. So we're gonna go have a quick swim. And then after that, we'll probably drive into Sukhothai, the new city, the, the main town of Sukhothai. And we'll go to a local popular restaurant for dinner tonight. So that's the plan, but let's take a swim right now. Oh wow, that water temperature is absolutely perfect. Just feels like your exact body temperature. Precisely. Oh, you don't even feel, you don't even feel any change in temperature. Oh, it's beautiful. And this, this surrounding, surrounded by the hotel, the rooms, our room is up there. And then you have the view overlooking the fields, overlooking the mountain. We're just gonna have a quick swim though, just to cool off and just because Micah really wanted to go swimming and then we're all pretty hungry so we're gonna go eat dinner. Bye, make a go big one. The swim was fantastic, water is perfect temperature, warm, and refreshing with the view overlooking the fields. Yeah, it's just, it was a beautiful swim. Okay, we are on our way to dinner. Let me check. It's gonna take us, it's a 12 minute drive. Yeah, and we got our new chili masks. Chili Is that, that the chili on that side? No. Oh no, <laughs> chili's on this side. So far I'm really liking Sukhothai. Really laid back, relaxing, chilled out, quiet, yet there's plenty of things to do. Hopefully delicious food, which I have not experienced yet because this is our first my first time ever to come here to Sukhothai. Uh, and this will be my very first dinner. We drove into the center of new Sukhothai town and actually the restaurant that was my number one choice for tonight. They're closed for the day, they just happened to be closed today. So then we looked around, tried to find some places. Some other places are also closed. We ended up driving all the way back, almost back to the hotel, but to the old ruins, the historical park. And this is kind of a walking street area, actually right next to the Nakhon walking street. But we're gonna eat dinner at a restaurant. It's called Suri Rat Pochana. Um, Suri Rat restaurant and looks pretty cool. It's right on the corner. It's in an old wooden house. They specialize in looks like some spicy dishes and looks pretty classic, pretty, pretty historical, old school restaurant. 
This place is classic though, huh? You Classic. I love the wooden structure, the old heritage uh, menu. Looks like two of their main dishes are gengpa, which is jungle curry, which is one of my ultimate favorite dishes in the entire world. Every time I see jungle curry, I almost always go for jungle curry. And then they also have some uh, stir-fried basil. They have pad pet, which is like a stir-fry with spicy stir-fry. So I ordered the, um, their, their signature dish, gengpa ne, which is jungle curry with beef. It all looks and smells really good actually. That's all we ordered, right? We didn't order too much, but mainly I'm most excited to try their Geng Pa Nu, which is the jungle curry with beef. Uh, but then we also got some fried mixed bed food vegetables. I didn't know Ying ordered their Yam Kai Dao, which is the fried egg salad. And then we also got some Bla Thad, or Bla Thap Team, Jamai Gam. It's like a, it's the pink, uh, the pink or the white tilapia uh, fried with seafood sauce. Gotta begin with the jungle curry. There's, it's minced beef. There is, looks like bamboo shoots. There's uh, green pepper. There's long beans, and usually this is known to be spicy and herbaceous, and that's why I love it so much. Oh, there's chaom in it too. Chaom is climbing wattle leaves. Oh, just the, the aroma of that curry paste, the red chilies in there smells incredible. And you can see just from the texture of that minced beef that it's hand chopped on a board. Hand chopped rather than uh, ground, ground beef. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. That's incredible. The chaom, it's not sweet at all. It's just spicy, powerful flavor. I love the mix of, the mix of vegetables. You taste the, the pepper in it, lots of pepper, red chilies. And again, because that meat has been chopped up with a knife, minced up with a knife rather than being ground, it has this amazing texture to it. Slightly chewy, but not overly chewy. Good texture, you taste the, the holy basil in there too. Mm. And the fresh bamboo shoots. Oh, it's so good. That's superb. Dip that into the sauce. And then the fried fish. Look at all the bone. All the bone. Mm. Boy. Oh yeah. Really good. So crispy on the outside, creamy and moist on the inside, and then that sauce. Perfectly sharp and sour and garlicky. Oh yeah. The mixed vegetable, there's tomato, cabbage, carrots, baby corn, and some uh, Chinese broccoli, Chinese kale in here. And then finally the fried egg salad. I like how there's lots of onion in here. They, there's some Chinese celery. And then also uh, some chilies in there. Good and simple. Sour from lime juice, and then salty from fish sauce. And then I especially love that contrast of textures. The crunchiness of the fried egg, and then the, the juicy crispness of that white onion. Yeah, food is actually, I'm quite happily surprised at how good the food is here actually, because we're right in the, we're right next to the historical park, right next to the walking street. Uh, and this is a, a pretty touristy area of Sukhothai, but this is, it's really good food. Bamboo shoot, green pepper, and chili, all fusing in your mouth at the same time.
total bill. Can you see me okay? Total bill, including like I had a soup called Gangju, a plainer soup with vegetables and some pork, and everything we got came to 450 baht. <laughs> Okay, I think since we're in this area and it looks like there's a little bit of a night market across the street, we might just walk around just for a little bit, just to end this evening. And it's a beautiful evening. It's not too hot, it's quiet, it's peaceful, it's relaxing. And yeah, pleasantly surprised. Right on the corner of the walking street. Really good food and classic shop house, wooden shop, restaurant. Get the jungle curry. So actually, this is not really a night market, right? I think it's actually a daytime market. So most of the vendors, most of the stalls are starting to either shut down or are, are, or are already shut down. All fresh ingredients, vegetables, fruits, but also cooked food as well. There's not much happening at the market right now. It's pretty quiet, pretty sleepy, and everyone is closing. Uh, but then right across the street is, it's called Wat Trapang Tong, which is a temple surrounded by water, and it's just now starting to get dark. Uh, so you can see still the reflection in the sky, the cloud. Oh yeah, you can even see that. Beautiful. And that's just our first glimpse at some of the temples and some of the historical landmarks. And if you go further that way, you'll get more into the entire historical park of Sukhothai, uh, which I'll be exploring in another video and probably tomorrow actually. Although I've only been in Sukhothai now for a couple of hours, I'm already enjoying peaceful charm. That's what stands out to me so far. So that's going to be it for this video. We're just heading back to the hotel from here and going to call it a night. Uh, but big thank you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. I'm going to be publishing more hotel reviews, some food, and lots of travel tips. Thanks again for watching. See you on the next video.